Hi Capricorn and welcome to your tarot love messages here. We're going to take a look at and see what messages are coming in for you in terms of love and romance. It is going to be a general reading so guys please be mindful of that. If you are after personal tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So once again this reading here is intended for Capricorn Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and to those cross watching as well. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's coming in for Cappies. Okay, the nine, uh, the eight of cups, sorry, the four of swords here. Okay, interesting. There's, I feel like it's an, a complicated emotional state of affairs here. It's complicated because I feel like there is the entry of a third party for some of you, okay? And that's basically, that's, well, the introduction of a third party is definitely uh, complicating uh, things here for you. And it's also distorting, like, the balance. It's throwing up the balance and the equilibrium of your connection, your romantic connection with someone. Now... The fact that there are three of cups in the top row here, the three of swords, I know it's a four of swords, but there are three of swords that point down to the figure's head here, and the three of wands does sort of, to me, it does reaffirm that there may be a third party situation, whether or not you know this. For some of you, I feel like you're aware of the situation, you're aware that, you know, you guys weave quite a tangled web, for others of you, I don't, I feel like you're being deceived by a very, very sticky web here, okay? Um... Eight of Cups, this is an interesting card because I feel like the reason why it's made an appearance here is because you're clearly involved in a situation, Capricorn, which is instead of contributing to your happiness and your peace of mind, it's actually taking away, okay? And I feel like right now you putting so much of your, you've invested so much of yourself, your time and your energy into something or someone and it's not manifested in the way that you want and that person hasn't necessarily been reciprocating your energy as well. It is it is a sign that you might be trying too hard to escape an emotional situation here or you're not trying hard enough to sort of let yourself go and release yourself from a very complicated emotional situation which is very, it's, it's very much adding or even causing a lot of damage like psychological and emotional damage but it's like you're in too deep to just walk away and the rabbit hole goes a lot deeper than you actually think here um the man walks away in the back uh, the man walks away here in the background purely because there's a lack of fulfillment okay and he knows that what's on this side of the mountain it's not fulfilling him anymore so he, the reason why he walks away is because he goes in search for what's on the other side of the mountain who knows what lies on the other side of the mountain? It could be better, it could be worse, but I guess if you don't go, you'll you know you'll never know here. So I feel like this is a sign that something here is missing. Sorry, missing is missing in your romantic connection, and you know it. Okay, you know it. Maybe the cards here are just reaffirming what you already know. Um, but because the cups are arranged in such a way to indicate that you know a cup is missing, this is a sign that emotional fulfillment, that wholeness and completion of your connection is missing. And I wonder if you're looking for the right things in all the wrong places here, Capricorn. Um, it's a journey. I feel like it represents a journey that you're going to have to take. Notice how that made an appearance just uh, just above the Wheel of Fortune. And I feel like this is it's telling us that there is someone here whom I feel like you have to disconnect and remove and walk away from or maybe this is someone who has removed themselves and took an exit from your life but to me it feels like you're still holding on or you're still chasing this person or you're still st stagnated or still fixated on this person um the mountains represent that the journey that you need to take will not be an easy one but it is a journey that is absolutely necessary for your growth and your self-discovery here Okay, so the reason why this person has left you or the reason why you feel like such an abandonment is yes, there could be emotional traumas and emotional triggers there. But you have to understand that um, 
the reason why this person has left you or the reason why you need to leave them is because there's a journey that needs to be undertaken and this is a journey that you must take on your own or they must take on your own on their own sorry this person is not going to accompany you on their journey okay because that's not their journey this is your journey of self-discovery and self-growth and they've come so far they've only come as far as they could go which is why Things have stopped and stagnated. It's the universe's way of trying to communicate and say to you, this is not your forever person. This is not the person you're meant to be with. This is not how it ends for you. Okay, there's still a happily ever after, but it's not with this person. So, and there's so much, and I feel like what's happening right now, the lack of silence, the disconnection, the communication, the hurt, the loss that you're feeling, that, you know, emotional disappointment, Everything that you're, hap that you're um, experiencing and that's happening to you, I feel like this is going to be absolutely is necessary to your growth and the, the discovery of yourself here. The moon's light in the, um, in the background here, in the sky here, it sort of illuminates the path ahead. And once again, this is the universe, the universe's way of shining a light onto your darkness. So this darkness that you're going through, the universe wants to take you by the hand and guide you out of this darkness. So do not resist anyone who takes an exit from your life, anyone who doesn't make the effort to communicate with you or who feels like they have to play mind games with you and give you the silent treatment. I mean, is that type of partner, ask yourself, is this the type of partner you really want that... You know, when things get a little bit difficult, they pull away or, you know, when in, just because they're feeling hurt, they feel like they have to do the same to you and they have to hurt you in return. I mean, is this really whom you see yourself building a future with? Because if this is the, how the person is acting now, imagine what the situation would be like if you guys move in together, if you get married, if you decide to have children, like, or if you are in a third party situation, this person clearly is in a situation where they can't decide between you or another person is that not speaking volumes to you is that not saying something here i feel like there's so much and i know we can be a little bit blunt but look the truth is going to be hard okay the truth is going to always be hard to hear but i'll tell you what's going to be even a lot more harder and painful a gentle lie because that stuff is going to hurt you forever so i know this can be really difficult but capricorn understand that everything is happening for you is happening in your greater good and don't be stubborn about it don't think that you know this person is meant to be if you have to chase after them time and time again what is that telling you or if the situation here that keeps you know going around in circles and in cyclical in such a cyclical nature again what is that telling you i just feel like there's and whatever is that's happening for you do not resist the changes because understand that this is the universe's way of orchestrating things in your best favor so in other words it's not happening to you it's happening for you but it's all about how you see the situation okay much like the figure here in the eight of swords here there's something here that she's not seeing she doesn't believe that she can escape her predicament she feels like she is very much trapped and restricted by her set of circumstances she doesn't believe that there's any way out she feels like she's destined you know to spend forever in these prisoner swords here um, now, to the outside perspective, I mean, the situation is not as complicated as it seems, right? If only she were to remove her blindfold, she could easily escape her predicament here. But instead, she chooses not to see, okay? She chooses not to see the pain that her self-limiting beliefs are causing her. So, Capricorn, I feel like your situation, the amount of hurt you feel will, all de will depend on how you look at it. And I know... I know it's complicated, okay, and I know it's not just easy to get up and walk away, but staying in this Eight of Swords, in this Prison of Swords, is going to be the hardest thing, okay? And these are your messages, very blunt, but I feel like someone out there really needed to hear this message, and hopefully it has reached some of you here. Okay, guys, thanks for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, sharing. I will, of course, be sharing more tarot love messages with you guys, so make sure you do check out my channel and all the other messages that are uploaded there. Thanks again, guys, for your support. For those of you after a personal reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.